How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the robotic parts? Over $70,000. Inside the School of Engineering on the Southern Illinois University Edwardsville campus, they've taken delivery of a most unique item. We call it Bodhi. It stands for, uh, uh, that Bodhi refers to uh, Narayan Bodhapati, who's a former chair and one of the lead donors of our project here. We, we talked about the, the future of the industry and about some of the advances in the technology, uh, and uh, he felt that this is something that we really need to add to the school, uh, to our capabilities. In October, the School of Engineering received the gift they've been waiting for. This robotic dog from Waltham, Massachusetts-based Boston Dynamics. So far, students and instructors have been learning the system of the robot as it gets acclimated to its engineering home. And it's something where the theoretical knowledge and technical knowledge we learn in classrooms, we can apply it very easily here, where there's already an existing state-of-the-art model here, and we can look at ways to optimize it and learn from those ways how to incorporate it to our knowledge. You learn about you know, circuitry or even like artificial intelligence in all your classes, but have, being able to, to look at it and learn from it right in front of you and kind of analyze it there, that's, that's completely different. And like a real dog, this robot has to go to sleep and recharge its batteries so it can discover new things when it wakes up. Years ago, this campus had a real-life cougar mascot that they would bring out to the quad and walk around. Some 64 years after it was founded in Edwardsville, Illinois, another four-legged mascot of sorts coming out to walk around. Yes, we are hoping to uh, use this uh, robot uh, as the school's mascot, and we are hoping that we will be able to take it to high schools to get uh, prospective students excited about uh, technology. In Edwardsville, Illinois, on the Southern Illinois University Edwardsville campus, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.